E. coli has been found in the water systems in five different towns this month alone. Water departments all over the state have detected so-called PFAS in their water supplies. So what can you do about it now? WBZ's Jordan Jagalinzer went out to get you answers. You drink it every day. But do you know what's in it? Like spaghetti. Um, you use a lot of water. They are going to see contaminants in their water. That is just the reality of drinking water in the United States. Sydney Evans is a science analyst with EWG, a nonprofit providing a tap water database by state, including here in Massachusetts. Things that came up as really common in the state are disinfection byproducts. Those are uh, contaminants that end up in water as a result of disinfection, which is very much necessary. We don't want to get sick from pathogens, which is why you end up with things, you know, with boil water notice. She says water home test kits don't provide the big picture of what the actual problem is. And it's not necessarily monitored for by every single system, so it's hard to know whether you might have something like PFAS. In Easton, Richard Tierney, operations manager of the water division, understands the worries. Of course, this is very alarming and concerning to our residents. Now they're working on three new buildings to better treat chemicals like PFAS. We're doing uh, what we can. Um, to try to get ahead of this contaminant that's in our supply. In the meantime, residents are coming to this filtered water dispenser to hydrate. They only had three empty gallons, but usually I bring eight. So what should residents do? Evan's advice, look at the contaminants in your city or town's water supply. Starting with the information that's already available and then maybe seeking out a test if it's necessary and within your budget. She says the EWG database can direct you to the exact filter you need. We want people to feel like they can do something about their situation. This is one of those three treatment facilities being built here in Easton to better the town's water supply. They expect to open by summer of next year. In Easton, Jordan Jagalinzer, WBZ News.